it's Dominic again. I'm just doing another clip on the ice cream magic and I'm going to be reviewing it. So, what we're going to start off doing is we're going to take the ice. Hey everyone, it's Dominic again and I'm just going to be telling you that we are reviewing the ice cream magic. So, we're going to start off by pouring the ice into this orange cup thing. Sorry. Here you go. And we're not going to be eating this, so it's fine if it went on the ground. Okay, so I'm just asking when the rain, my ex of the pour. Sorry, I'm a horrible pourer. There you go, my horrible pouring is done. Okay, so, there we go. Okay. So, what we're gonna do next is put this great thing on. And we are going to pour our ingredients in. I have already pre-mixed my ingredients. Now, I actually have my own ingredients listed because I prefer my ingredients because it comes out better if you use the slushy magic ingredients that it tells you to do on the instructions. It doesn't really turn out that well. Okay, but let's get started. So I'm going to pour my coffee chocolate ice cream mix into there up to the fill line. Okay, all done. And then this salt is actually for the ice to like activate it activate its like coldness if I know it's cold to start out with but it just makes it even colder so we're gonna pour some salt in here I just add any amount it's best to do a teaspoon but I really don't know any directions anyway so we're gonna put this on top of here <clears throat> like that oops the gasket's kind of coming off redo that there we go <clears throat> okay all on make sure your lid is on tightly or else this will leak out but this actually is like it acts as a seal thing so if your lid isn't tight enough it won't close it's really hard to do this but so yep my lid is closed all the way so I'll be right back after I shake this. Okay, by the way, it takes about seven minutes to shake. Hey everyone, I'm back. Done shaking, great workout. Um, So what we're going to be doing now is seeing what content it has left us after this long shake. It's got some ice cream. So right now it's like foam, as you can see, but I'm gonna scoop that, I'm gonna like straw that out. Oh my god, you probably can't see me. Sorry. I'm gonna like slurp it out. Okay, so here we go, slurping. Okay, so there's the juice it left us with, and there's some foam. Very foamy. But, as you can see, all this is ice cream. And it's very good. See all this? This is ice cream. Didn't need this with the thick layer. I'm sure if you froze it in the freezer, which I have tried actually, it comes out better and it works. So you can probably make a huge batch of it and then just like freeze it in a container and it would come out better than this. But this is actually kind of fun just to do with like if you're having a party, I would recommend this instead of freezing it. But I would make a huge batch before the party in the freezer. That way, I have a lot of ice cream. 
Look at all that ice cream. That's good eating. Yum. All right. So that was this week's view. And then, so it's been seven minutes, and I'm shaking. And once you're done, it leaves you with this like salt water. But so that's disgusting. But I just got ice cream all over the floor. Okay, so I would rate this a 10 out of 10. It did a really good job and it was fun. The only problem is though, is that it, like, the ice cream that it makes, it's like not that thick. So I'm sure if you froze the ingredients instead of just pouring this in there, like if you froze this, it would obviously come out better. And maybe, I'm not sure, you could probably put this in a different, in another container, like around it, and then put ice around it, and then pour the salt, and just have ingredients in here, and then shake it too, so you can make it your own. And that would probably be fun, but that's my review for the Ice Cream Magic. Hope you guys liked it. See you later. Don't, for, don't forget to click that button down below to subscribe. Thank you. Bye.